Hi everybody, welcome. My name is Dee if you're here for the first time. Um, if you love my content, definitely click on the subscription button and the bell to be notified every time I upload. And welcome to all my new subbies. So this is going to be a collective haul of about a week's worth of shopping. Okay, so the first thing that I bought, you're probably asking me, like, why are you showing me this? It's for um, people that have either tote bags where it's just one big um, bag, or if you have big handbags that don't have compartments, this is what keeps you organized. As I was looking at it, I'm like, this is actually perfect for crafters that don't have anything heavy. So on the side of the bag, it has these buttons so that if you wanna ex expand this and make it wider, you can. So each, each side, I'm so sorry, this is, let me see if I could slow, there we go. Um, each side has buttons so you can make it wider. And on the inside, you get the length of the bag. You get this um, zipper pocket here and a zipper pocket there. And then inside, it is um, it has like padding. And then it has these two handles, which I thought would be perfect for crafters that if you were um, just going to a friend's place, um, or a craft meetup and you're, say you're just stamping images and coloring them, you can put your stamped images here, throw all your markers in here, your, um, card bases. Um, and then on the other side, same thing. I'm using this for my, um, Tiffany and company handbag. And then I have, um, two other bags on the way that are um, really big. And so I'm gonna need something like this to keep me organized. And so this holds my um, wallet. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. One, two, four. Okay, this one has six pockets. Okay, I'm so sorry. So <laughs> there's a total of 10 pockets on the outside. I'm sorry, these ones are smaller pockets. So here I have a coupon because this is going in my handbag. I have a thing here for my cash. You can probably put gift cards here. Um, this is another um, zippered pouch that I keep. Um, my grocery cards, if I get my nails done, there's like a stamp coupon in here. I keep my business cards in here for our business it holds um potty bags for my dogs so it's really functional okay i'm gonna move on because we're already at almost five minutes okay so the next thing i'm excited about and um i'm doing this actually for jill and Larwood. i probably wouldn't normally show this uh, but I was talking on the phone to my friend, uh, Jill Norwood, I'm sure all of you know her. And um, somehow we got on the conversation of card bases and she wanted to know, because I told her I had placed an order on Amazon and I couldn't remember the maker or anything. And I told her, I don't even know the weight. It just said heavyweight cardstock. So I took a gamble. It doesn't really matter if they weren't um, heavyweight because as much paper and stuff that I add on it, it would make it sturdy anyways. So I bought, um, I got an A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half card bases. Um, this is Ohuhu. And this is the same company that does the alcohol markers. Okay. Um, and then the A7 is your five by seven uh, card bases. And just in opening it up, um, um, you get, a, uh, let's see, 100 card bases and then <clears throat> folded card bases, and then you get a hundred envelopes. So that's a total of 200 pieces. And the same thing for the A2 size, and it comes in this super sturdy, um, box. Okay. Um, so what I wanted to share, okay, so this is, um, A7, which is five by seven uh, card base here. I stuffed it in the envelope to keep them together. Uh, this is the A2 stuffed inside the envelope. Now here's where I want to do a comparison on this in case you guys 
uh, want to buy these. Okay, so this is the Paper Studio. I'm not sure if these are 65 pound or 80 pound, but um, the Paper Studio is a pretty good weight. And then I use um, this cardstock from um, Spectrum Noir that I use for my stamping. And these are cut out, um, these are single cards because I usually just stamp and then fussy cut or die cut out usually, usually. Okay, so um, you can kind of hear, right? Um, and this, to me, the Spectrum Noir, it feels a smidge heavier than the Hobby Lobby Paper Studio brand, okay? Now, to compare it to these two, oh, you can't, no comparison. This is thick. And my, uh, um, okay, so this Spectrum Noir is supposed to be 100 pounds. Um, you can see right here, 100 pounds weight okay these and i told jill i thought they were about a hundred but when i compared these to um the spectrum noir i think these are like 110 to maybe 130 pound just because the quality they're so thick so you guys it's um i think the a2 is 1949 $19.49 US dollars. And then I think the A7 is $19.99, I believe. I bought these together, so I got free shipping. When you spend, I think, $25 or more on Amazon, um, if it's fulfilled by them, you get the free shipping. I am not a Prime member, so I don't know if that changes anything on free shipping. I have no clue. I refuse to pay their um, prime fees. Okay, next up I wanna share with you, um, let's do the adorn it. <clears throat> okay, let me show you, the, these are, now the ones I'm showing you are the ones that I paid for. So this is the carrot cake recipe stamp, and I'm sorry about the glare. Um, this is the creamy herbed egg salad, and these are just, um, stamp drops. When are they dropped? Oh, they dropped these towards the end of March. Um, this is an older one, but I wanted it. Um, I bought this popcorn cake. I bought this, um, deviled eggs. And I purchased, um, um, this four by six bunnies. Okay. And then what I got as an ambassador, I could have got these for free, but I don't know that I'll have time to craft. So I just purchased them. Um, this I have to create with this month. Um, there's grandma Alice's, uh, carrot drop cookies. This is the stamp of the month. And then this is the add on stamp. And if you, seen these two diana markham had these in her etsy store for five dollars um last year so if you were waiting for them to go from digital to stamp now is your chance these if they're not listed now um because the they're first come first served to um the recipe members and then after a few weeks after um the recipe club members get them they eventually stock the store um you pay a little bit of higher price meaning uh, if you're a club member you get free shipping so if you are not part of the kit club you can still buy them but you're paying shipping on this and this is where you lose money so that's the advantage of the um club as you're getting free shipping so you're saving yourself plenty of money if you're a member okay next is my um order from my creative time and i did not order everything from emma but uh close enough <laughs> okay so i ordered the um cover plate she 
does her sales towards the end of each month and you get 15% off if you order then. Um, so I ordered the new releases, but next month, uh, I might go back and when she does her 15% off, um, order some of the older stuff. So I accidentally bought two. So I might do a giveaway on my channel because it's been a long time, um, since I've done a giveaway. I've just been busy with, uh, I got a lot going on at home with my, uh, family, um, Okay, so um, this is a, um, what is it called? Time for Tea, and it comes with um, a 4 by 6 stamp set, and then you get the dies to cut um, these out. And then I had to have this, and I've already used it. I already have um, paper stuck in here. Um, I've already made two cards um uh, with the is that two cards yes i've made two cards with this um but they won't be seen until the first week in may fyi set your calendars the first week in may um the adornant ambassadors are doing a special event in honor of mother's day so stay tuned for that make sure you're subbed to everyone um the names of my other ambassadors will be in my description box Okay, the next thing that I bought to um, coincide with this stamp set is this um, Tea Time paper pad, which I'm sure you've already seen. They have their own design team, so they would have um, done sneak peeks and showing the paper pad. And then I got two pads of these because I thought this, um, eyelet, it's called Eyelet Gingham and Solids. Um, but I thought the eyelets was so pretty and then with the, um, um, the gingham with the, um, the eyelets so pretty. So I got two of those. So that is my creative time haul. And then I went on, um, shop, the shop app. Um, they have a bunch of stores on the shop app, but I also use the shop app, um, for tracking. You can track any packages it doesn't have to do with you shopping from their website you just um on the app you can manually put in your tracking number um and then the tracking number on the app will suggest um like is it usps um fedex it kind of knows and so it'll give you suggestions and then there's a little space for um um like what the item is for that tracking number. So I love the shop app. But anyways, I went on their stores. Um, Ink and Splatter is one of their partners. Um, oh, even Peachy Keen is on shop as well. Um, so I previously bought these and I used it for a project and I fell in love. So I'm like, okay, I have to go back and get two more. And then this is the first time I'm ordering this from Ink and Splatter. Um, it's called Hello Spring, and it's like muted pastels. That's the only way I can describe it. And so you can see what the sheets look like there. So I bought that. My friend, um, Daniela, she's the art light. And she sells in this Facebook group. They do shopping events with a couple of other um, stores. Um... I don't think they allow selling of just people de-stashing from their stash. I think these are actual people that are um, craft supply merchants that um, de-stash on there. You really have to know your prices, not to um, shade that group. You just really have to know your prices to know if you're getting a good deal. Because some of them, I feel like they're not authentic de-stash prices. But um, Daniela is pretty, pretty fair. Okay, so um, the first thing I ordered, um, I think this was $25, and um, this was in that selling group that Daniela does um, once or twice a month, and oh, and she's getting ready to do one next weekend. If you want to know, I can put the link um, either in my link tree or my video description box, but it'll only be there for a few weeks. I'm not going to, if I put in my link tree, it's only going to be there for a few weeks, so if you're Watching this on replay months down the road, it's probably, that link's probably not going to be on my link tree. Okay, so for $25, I got these five pads. So I got um, Doodlebug Design. 
um, and it's Buffalo Check Wood Grain and Rainbow Petite Prints. That's what it is. Sorry. And then I got um, this by Doodle Bug, and it is called Swiss Dot Rainbow Petite Prints. There is uh, Lawn Fawn, and I'm thinking this is called Spiffy. I don't know. Is that the name? I don't know. Um, oh, and here's another Lawn Fawn. This is called Watercolor Wishes, and this is perfect for me, for what I do. And then um, there is this one from Doodlebug, and it's called Dot Stripe Rainbow Petite Prints. And these are all brand new and unused. And whenever you buy from her, she normally sends you a gift. And I, uh, I did get a gift, and I don't know where I put it, you guys. <laughs> and then I don't remember what I paid for this. Um... Okay, so I got this um, set, and this is from, it was from the same maker. Yeah, this is from P13, so I'm sorry, it's hard to show you um, how this, um, the, I'm going to close this way. Um, so there's all these sweets. I'm sorry, this is so hard to show. Um, I have such a small space to do this. So this is the top of the 12 by 12. You get that. And the um, these are like little bubbles to me. So you get two sheets of those. Uh, so you get four 12 by 12 sheets. You get the P13 6x6 six six Sugar and Spice. This is what I was going for. And then you get all these uh, ephemera pieces. Got these little macarons and cupcakes. Cupcakes. More sweets. There's this little sweet banner. So you got all these things to make... Um, an album or a book or whatever. And then also included in there um, were these P13 stickers that match. And then these, I believe, oh, another piece of ephemera fell on the floor. Um, you get two journal books. So this is um, perfect if you wanna alter this a little bit or if you just wanna put it in your traveler's notebook. Okay, this um, I bought on Amazon. Um, it's called a 3D, I think it's like a 3D folder album. And it's by um, ZF Party. They are on Amazon. So this is the base. And then these are the insert pages. And then it comes with... Um, Tabs, and I think Nicole Silhouette, I believe, designs for them on and off. There's these tickets. There's three different size tickets. Um, and then you've got some decorative pieces for um, the little book or album. And then there's these. I don't know if these are supposed to be like tags or whatnot, but you got, so cute. You've got a little pencil and then like these binder clips here, so cute. Bow binder clips, I should say. And then there's this probably for the cover of the outside of the book. So yeah, um, that is my haul. Um, again, if you want to know the link of that group, that selling group, let me know. Um, definitely need to know your prices before you go shopping in there, but there's lots of fun stuff. Lots of fun stuff. Okay, um, I will talk to you all later. Um, God bless.